Hey everybody, what's going on? Speedy Diver here, and tonight I ended up going to two different GameStops. This is from a GameStop I usually do not ever dumpster dive at. Like, I think I've only been there once or twice maybe, like ever. So this is going to be really interesting. And there's also a bag right here, which is from the normal GameStop I usually dumpster dive at. Now with that being said, also the Nintendo Switch box I got at the regular dumpster. But uh, like I said, this bag, you can tell the difference. Like, this bag is huge. Like, it's a different style bag and this one's like the normal kind of bag. So definitely really excited for tonight's video. Never know what could be in this bag from another GameStop. And with that being said, thank you all so much for the amazing, like just the amazing support lately. The past couple videos have been doing insanely well. Just thank you so, so much for all the support. And also if you are new, subscribe, click the little bell down below so you get notifications every single day I post a new video, which is every day. And also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Plugs are down below. Now let's get into the Nintendo Switch box first. Now one thing I I did notice when I found it is that it is wet like right over here I don't know if you guys can really see that but it's a little wet right there so I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep the box but the box is kind of light just took it to see if anything was actually inside of it it's also ripped as well so oh there's seriously nothing <laughs> I thought maybe some packaging material nothing at all that just goes to show I find boxes with nothing in it most of the time I usually do but sometimes I do find boxes with stuff inside so definitely a box I probably won't keep so I'll probably throw that back there for garbage but let's get into what bag should we go into first let's do the weight test that one ah it's actually like a medium weight to lighter weight and this one is oh that one's definitely heavier way heavier I see a drink too but uh, hmm, I really want to get into this bag because it's from a different GameStop. I'm hoping it's not a bust. I'm hoping there's actually something worth keeping inside. I see something Nerf. That's interesting. Let's get into it. Yeah, this is like definitely a way different style bag. You can tell like how thick, like it's actually way thicker than these. These are way thinner. Let's see, ooh, ooh. There's actually, okay, so there's no Nerf gun, but there's bullets? There's Nerf gun bullets. And it's Star Wars. How do you get these out? I want them. I want them right now. Okay, oh, I'm ripping it. Let's get it, let's get it. Ah! Oh, this is actually really hard to do. Okay, let's get them. Oh, sweet, Nerf bullets. That is freaking awesome. <laughs> what? Okay, so far this bag's a score. We've got three Nerf bullets. I wonder if these are like the whistler ones. I used to always love playing Nerf when I was younger. So uh, they have like whistle bullets, I believe, or w darts, I guess they're called. But uh, those are cool. Nerf darts, bullet things. Freaking sweet. That is really cool. I don't see anything else. Ooh, what is that? Something down here. Oh, this is actually the instructions for the gun itself. I mean, obviously it's a gun. It's Nerf. Nerf is like guns. That's what they sell, Nerf guns. Yeah, that's what it would have looked like. And then, oh, they, do they glow in the dark? They're called glow strike. Darts glow. Oh, they glow in the dark. That is awesome. Okay. Not going to keep the box because there's no point, but that is really cool. Oh, I see a case. I see a case. Oh, wait. What is this though? It's a controller, but it's like a cardboard cutout of a controller. That's pretty sick. I actually really like that. I'm going to keep that too. That's just a cool display piece. Let's see what we have. It's a broken case. For I literally see a game. There's a game, right? What is this? What? We have Sims 3 Pets for the 360. Oh no, it has a ring around it. No. There's a ring on the outer perimeter of this disc. Usually whenever I test out games that have that, they never work. Oh, that is so sad. But hey, you never know. Maybe it can, maybe it can't. Like, I, it probably won't work. I'm just telling you guys the truth. It probably won't. But there's always a chance that it might. And there's still another game. Ooh, is that food? And it's food. Ew. <laughs> Halo 4, is it in there? Ooh, one disc, two discs. Yes, we have both discs are here. Disc 1 and disc 2. Let's check the condition really quick to see what they look like. There's another case right there. Hold on. Ooh, pretty good, actually. Pretty good condition. Let's check out this disc. Really good condition. Wow, this one's actually got really good condition on both discs. Nice. No manual, though. I'm not sure if this game came with one, but Halo 4. Awesome. Ooh, Nintendo Switch case. What is it for? It's for LEGO DC Super Villains. Ooh. I actually found these steel books for these. 
Oh, there's no game inside. It's empty. But still a brand new Nintendo Switch case. That I'm keeping. And that's got a really... I've never found this one before. So that's really cool. What is this? City Bank? I was, I was waiting to see, like, Biohazard. Because that's, like, the color of, like, toxic stuff. Like, Biohazard kind of stuff. I'm seeing another case, I think. What is that that fell out, by the way? We have a case for Scribble Knots Unlimited for the Wii U. Ooh, let's check it out. Oh, no, there's no game inside, but the manual is in there. Definitely keeping that. It's a ton of stuff so far. There's this as well, which is a Sonic. Ooh, Sonic the Hedgehog. What is it, though? It's like a little diorama that you can maybe stand a figure in. That's actually kind of cool looking. You can put a little figure in there, and it's got the whole Sonic uh, kind of background. That is actually kind of cool. I like that. It doesn't say anything on it, but Sonic the Hedgehog. N10. Maybe that's like a coordinate or something? Like North 10? I, I don't know. That's kind of cool though. I'll definitely keep that. Let's see what else is in here. A really soft material. This is like a bag of some sort. I don't know. Really soft. Dude, there's like food in this bag. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. We got a Nintendo Switch screen protector. Ooh, is it actually in there? Oh, no. I think it's just a manual, but worth checking out. Yeah, just a manual. Sadly, no screen protector. Ooh. Giant piece of cardboard. Ooh. <gasps> oh no, it's been opened. Is it in there? No, it's not. I thought it was in there for a second. Dang. Got some other stuff. Ooh, is this for... Oh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Here we go. So this goes to that. Which, this looks like, yeah, there probably would have been a figure inside of that. But it's still pretty cool to keep either way. Giant thing. That might have gone to the Sonic the Hedgehog thing, maybe? I don't know. Ooh, what's this? Ooh. Smart trend? Ooh, is it a clip? It is! Oh, that is super cool. So, that's actually really nice. You can hang it up. I guess you can hang maybe clothes off it. <laughs> like a hanger, like a clothes hanger? Maybe? A coat hanger or whatever it's called? That's actually really good. I could break this part off and just use this part for a bag of chips, or I can still use it for a bag of chips and hang the chips up. I don't know. Whenever I see a clip like this, I instantly think to, like, seal off a bag of chips. That's pretty cool, actually. I'm definitely going to keep that. Oh, maybe it was for, like, this? Maybe they hung this up, like, in the store? Like that, maybe? I don't know. It's pretty cool. I like it either way. So let's see. Ooh, we got another one of these. Ah, nothing inside. This bag has been amazing so far. So worth going to this other GameStop. The reason I don't go to this GameStop, by the way, is it's like super far away. But uh, I don't know. I was just like, I was super in the mood tonight to go to just like another GameStop and just check it out. And uh, I guess because I haven't really been there and I don't really go there ever. And it just happened to be that I was actually kind of in that area at the time. But uh, check out some of these gift cards. Ooh, we have another one of these. I found one of these last night. I'll keep that one. I think the Santa one. I'll keep that one too. I found that one last night as well. I'm looking for cool gift cards. Oh, that one's bent up. To find, or not to find, but to make a really cool gift card wall thing of a jiggy. So I'm trying to find really cool ones. Eh, happy birthday one's not that cool. I think that's actually going to be it, though, for the bad guys. That looks like that is going to be it. Going to throw the bag back there. Let's get into the second bag, which is also the heavier bag. So I'm super excited for this. Let's get into it. Okay, first thing I am seeing is Spongebob. <laughs> and also a bunch of drinks. Sponge Ooh, we got a bunch of stuff over here. Okay, yeah, we got all these drinks, apparently. Tons of drinks. I don't want any of them really spilling, so I'm just going to kind of stand them up a little bit. Let's get some garbage out of here. We have Spongebob PSP. No way. Oh, it's all wet. Oh, it's all wet. No. Is it actually in here, though? Let's check it out. It is! No! It's okay, it's not wet inside. The inside of the case is not wet. That is awesome. SpongeBob SquarePants freaking. Is this the movie or the video game? The movie. Oh, it's the movie. Okay, for the PSP, for anyone who's never played it, you could watch movies on the PSP that look like PSP games. That's still freaking awesome. This movie is amazing. I love this movie. That is sweet! PSP movie. And it's all wet. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but there's like all bubbles of some kind of liquid. Probably one of those drinks inside. But still freaking awesome. Definitely want to keep it on the carpet though, because it's wet. We've got a case here for Shadow Murderer. Game of the Year. 
and uh, sadly broken case and it's not in there. Dummy case, not gonna keep it. Oh, this one's all wet too. Look at that, it's all wet. Oh, it's drenched. Is this game in here? Call of Duty Black Ops, please don't be in here because it's wet. Oh, it's actually in there. It's probably soaking wet. No, oh no, Ooh. oh no, the manual's a little wet, not too bad, but you can see all of the drink that must have spilled that's in here. It's probably the Wendy's, <laughs> but uh, damn. Check out the game though, worth check. Whoa, that is m almost mint. That is nice. Call of Duty Black Ops, the original freaking Black Ops for the PS3. That is a freaking epic find. And we have an empty 360 case here that, it would, yeah, it's really broken. It felt weird when I opened it. It felt like it was like all like weird feeling. I, I don't know, but it's broken. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that to be honest, but eh, I'm gonna keep it for now, just because it still can hold the game. Now let's see what else we have. I hope there's nothing else in here that's ruined. I could always dry those cases out though, so that's always good. But I just, I hate seeing stuff get wet, because it's just like, it's just like, oh, it's it was good at one time, and then it got wet because of the drinks. And then it's like, oh, half destroyed, I guess? A drink here, another drink. Tons of drinks, yeah, that's bad. You can see how soaking wet it is in the bottom. Ooh, what is that? A paper clip. These, which are just display ones, I don't think there's a real. Well, I'm gonna try to keep as much as I can in this bag. I see a rubber band, so you know what I have to do. Rubber band squad all the way. And I think I'm just gonna push this bag to the side because it's all wet and nasty. Gonna recap very, very quickly what was found tonight. Got an empty Xbox 360 case, Call of Duty Black Ops for the PS3, SpongeBob SquarePants the movie for the PSP. I rarely find PSP games, so that's really, really cool. A couple cool gift cards, literally the same exact gift cards I found last night. They're just cool looking. And, uh, also a Sonic the Hedgehog little display, kind of cool, probably a figure would have come in it. A Wii U case, which is empty. A Nintendo Switch case, which is empty. Halo 4, which is in there, both discs. It is a broken case though, sadly. And there is Sims 3, or I think it's called My Sims, or The Sims 3 Pets. And there's also a controller, little cutout, which is pretty cool. Three of these Star Wars glow-in-the-dark darts, which are freaking awesome for Nerf. And also this smart trend clip thingy, probably for clothes. I have no idea. But tonight was definitely a very, very good night. Tons of different stuff. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed tonight's video, make sure you leave a big fat smack on that like button. And also, if you are new, subscribe. Click the little bell so you get notifications every time I post a brand new video. Also, I will be leaving the last video over here, which was the day after Christmas. Christmas dumpster diving. Check it out. It was lit. Also check out the most recommended video for you right here. Subscribe to the Speedy Gamer and the Speedy Diver. Love you guys so much. I love every single one of you who watch my videos because it's kind of me showing you what can be saved dumpster diving and what can be saved from being destroyed. All of this stuff would have been destroyed and it would have never ever seen the light of day ever again. And I think it's super cool saving something that is going to be trashed. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.